Hi guys, a quick rundown on chlamydia. So chlamydia is another sexually transmitted infection. And it's a really common infection. And often people might not know that they've got it or had it. Um, chlamydia, some of the features of what an infection might feel like uh, if for a female, uh, you, that might include things like um, burning or stinging when one goes to the toilet. That might be a bit of a change in the discharge, the vaginal discharge. There can also be um, some inflammation causing discomfort or if the uh, infection is severe enough, it can lead to a condition called pelvic inflammatory disorder, which is uh, where there is infection going on in a deeper level um, involving the uterus or the fallopian tubes um, and surrounding tissue. So that can lead to quite severe pain, discharge, fever. Um, for a male, it could be, again, asymptomatic or it could be uh, discharge from the penis, discomfort when passing urine, so stinging or burning, they would be the common features. It can also uh, lead to a condition called uh, epididymo orchitis or orchitis, and these are inflammation, um, again, at a deeper level, which can lead to testicular pain um, or discomfort. Now, uh, chlamydia is very easily treated with antibiotics. There was a recent change uh, with the treatment guidelines in Australia. Previously, we were using an antibiotic called uh, azithromycin. There has been growing resistance to that antibiotic. So now the guidelines have changed to reflect that. So currently, doxycycline is the um, first line uh, treatment option. Now, it's important to treat chlamydia and also to screen for it. Um, and the reason we screen for it is because it can be asymptomatic. People might not know that they've got it or that they're spreading it between themselves and their partner or multiple partners. And not treating it can lead to um, that condition I mentioned earlier, which is the pelvic inflammatory disease or scar tissue forming. And so it's one of the causes that can lead to infertility um, or subfertility down the track. Um, it also has been linked with a higher risk of ectopic pregnancy because of the scar tissue that can form inside of the fallopian tubes. So the risk, uh, if you've had a chlamydia infection for a female, increasing the risk of uh, developing, developing a, an ectopic pregnancy later in life. Um, so there you have it, some quick, easy uh, bits of information about chlamydia. In terms of how we do a test, it's really simple. It's a urine test. Um, sometimes we might need to do swabs, but um, I would rarely do that. For asymptomatic screening, it is a, um, a wee test. So you can always do that. And it's recommended to do it for anybody who's sexually active, um, you know, with one or more partner in a year, um, particularly uh, those who, you know, might be having multiple sexual partners.